Well, good morning, High River. If you're watching live on the Our High River Facebook page, if you're catching this a little bit later, good day. I hope you're having a great one. Thanks for joining me for a cup of coffee and finding out what's happening in our community for this weekend. I'm Jody Seeley with Our High River, and it's the kickstart to the greatest outdoor show on earth. The Calgary Stampede officially starts tomorrow morning, so Friday morning. It's going to be 10 days of crazy, but there's some cool things happening in our community that'll give you a little bit of that stampede experience without having to go to the city if you don't want to. So we're going to get to that, but if you're heading out to the Calgary Stampede, have fun. And if you're watching and you know Trevor Allen, I'd like you to let him know that I'm officially using this cup on a Facebook Live video. Uh, the amazing High River Fire Department made me this cup. Isn't it so cool? Uh, from Fire Chief Len Zebedee's retirement and I'm so excited about this cup because it has a really cool quote on it that I want to share with you because I feel like this is a great message for all of us and going into the summer and it can be such a busy time and all of that fun stuff it says on it be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire so that's my message for you today is be fearless in what sets your soul on fire and if you have some cool ideas of what's setting your soul on fire in the community, let's go have a coffee and talk about it. And maybe that great idea is something that comes to fruition. I was just posting on the Our High River website the latest edition of The Optimistic Citizen. And that came from really Elaine Cowell and I were having a coffee. She says to me, Joe, I have this really cool idea for this positive publication, yada, 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 and voila. Her idea has come to reality because you know what sometimes it's just connecting those pieces together to make those ideas come to fruition so let's book a coffee and we don't take a break over the summer we are full steam ahead and let's let's see what the, where those ideas take you but we're gonna jump into what's happening in our community this week and of course it's Thursday so that means it's farmers market day yeah, it gets underway at 3.30 this afternoon until 6.30. Of course, 4th will be closed. They'll close it early so that uh, all the vendors can set up. So just a heads up, you're pretty headed into downtown. But it's going to be a whole lot of fun once again this week. Uh, it's going to be a busy day out at the High River Ag Grounds. If you're somebody who likes to catch a little bit of roping here, this could give you a little bit of a, a stampede-like experience because there's a pretty good chance there could be uh, champion ropers that are joining this event. It is called the Canadian Tie Down Classic and it's happening out at the arena at the Ag Grounds today. There's going to be tons of tie down roping, ladies events, uh, under 18 ropers, under 14 ropers, all kinds of awesome all day long. And part of it gives them an opportunity to qualify for a big rodeo down in the U.S. called the American. So there could be all kinds of uh, cowboys and cowgirls all over today. So if you're looking for a little taste of uh, some stampede rodeo, this would be a cool opportunity to do that. It's going to be good. Uh, coming up on Friday, we're going to kick off Friday morning with our very own local stampede pancake breakfast. Yeah, you don't have to drive into the city for one. We got a couple going on here. So there's a Northwest community, I believe. It's Vista Mirage, but I might have the name wrong, so please don't quote me on that. But we're going to be going Facebook Live from that pancake breakfast tomorrow morning, so really looking forward to that. And the Parent Link Center is also hosting their Stampede Pancake Breakfast, and this is open to everybody to come. They're going to be like right over here from us at the Culture Center, outside the Parent Link Center. That gets started at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Hi, Nancy! And goes until 11 and it's just gonna be a whole lot of fun. If you have not been to the Parent Link Center and you've don't got wee ones that partake in it, that's okay. Everybody's welcome, like I said. And they are on the south side of the Charles Clark Medical Center. So there's an outdoor play structure there. So if you've got the kids, you're looking after the grandkids, whatever it may be, come to this pancake breakfast and kids can play and you can have a whole lot of fun. Hi, Ange. So I think that's gonna be really cool. And then Friday night, the High River Royal Canadian Legion is hosting their Stampede Barbecue and Party. It's 25 bucks if you want to join them tomorrow night. Cocktails at 5, dinner at 6, and then they're going to have a dance to follow. And they're inviting you to dress Western. So get out that Stampede gear and go and have some fun with the Royal Canadian Legion on Friday night. 
Saturday night, our friends at the venue, which is the cool new performing arts center scheduled to be built on Fifth Ave. They aren't waiting for a building. They're just going ahead and having concerts and having a whole lot of fun. So this weekend, they're having an incredible Alberta singer songwriter by the name of Nancy Labarge come to hang out and have some fun. She's bringing the Backyard Beatles with her. The Imaginary Doors will open at 7 o'clock on Saturday night. The show will get underway at 7.30. So they go rain or shine. They've got a tent up. It is so cool and it's so fun. So go and check out what they're doing at the venue and have some fun. And follow their social media because they're posting lots of stuff as they're getting towards actually breaking ground and doing the build for this. So it's going to be an incredible addition to our community. On uh, Saturday, yeah, that's okay, that's the Saturday. Then Sunday, there's always so many good things. On Sunday, the Hospital Auxiliary is having music in the park. And this is a music opportunity and a barbecue fundraiser for the Hospital Auxiliary. So that's gonna go every Sunday until August 19th. But it kicks off this weekend. It goes from 10 until two in George Lane Park. So you can bring your lawn chair, come and enjoy some music, have some fun, and bring a little bit of money with you too, as the barbecue will cost you a little bit, but as we've mentioned, it is a fundraiser for them. So it's gonna be awesome. Prices are good, no cooking on Sunday. It's gonna be so easy for you. Uh, heads up to Monday, there is a blood donor clinic coming to our community, so I always love to give the heads up on that because your donation could help to save or impact up to three lives with your one blood donation. So maybe you want to schedule that in for Monday. It goes from 4 until 8. They're hosting it at the Heritage Inn. If you want to book a time slot, you can call one to donate. They do accept walk-ins, but just in case you're on a little bit of a time budget, uh, keep that in mind for Monday. And before we go, I just want to give you a heads up into next week. It's going to be Stampede Week. We're going to have a whole lot of fun. But what we're very excited about is that our High River is going to continue for the first summer ever in having our community cafes over the summer. So next week, Wednesday, we're going to be in George Lane Park. We're changing the venue to outdoors. We're pretty much going to go <laughs> rain or shine, but fingers crossed, we're going to have some incredible weather, but we'll keep you updated. And what's really fun is uh, several members of our council and Mayor Craig Snodgrass are going to be coming to be your celebrity hot dog servers. So you never know what they're going to cook up for you. We're going to play some games. We'll have all the fun of George Lane Park. The block party trailer is going to be there. We'll have some tunage and just celebrate and connect in the community together on Wednesday. So it's going to be a whole lot of fun. And then Thursday of next week is another skate mania. Thanks to our friends at the Mayor's Youth Advisory Council. That will go Thursday night starting at 5 at the skateboard park. So just a quick heads up for a couple of things happening next week. So lots of cool stuff happening in our community. As always, make sure if you've got an event coming up that you get it posted on the Town of High Rivers community events calendar. We connect with that one through the OurHighRiver.com website as well. So that's at HighRiver.ca. You can also email the communications department, communications at HighRiver.ca to get that on there. Uh, we like to uh, cross promote having one big calendar for our community to do events with together. If I've missed something for this weekend, I apologize. Please post it in the comments below so that we can share the details with everybody. And I hope you have a fantastic weekend in High River.